Hello, my friends. I thought it might be about time to show you around our new RV. We have a Monaco Knight 2003 that we purchased, obviously used because it's 20 years old, and we are slowly making it our home. So I thought I would give you a tour. So here you go. Welcome to our home. inside and the first thing you'll see is the steps that need cleaning we have some chimes so when we walk in we can make it magical thanks to our friend Petra who gifted this to Cyrus for his 40th birthday I found a couple of baskets and this is kind of where I leave my keys and my purse and um, his sunglasses and things like that. We have a nice little jar to keep our RV keys in so we don't lose them. I'm going to close the door because it's hot out there. When you come inside, you see that I have colorified it as I did with my van. I just have some pretty sarongs draped over the seats. Um, this under here is Toby's dog food. Um, this here is Toby, the three-legged Doby, who lives with us. I have a couple of colorful rugs. Um, Toby's not really interested in um, helping to narrate this video. He's enjoying the air conditioning and um, yeah. So we will introduce Toby sometime soon. He's got quite the story. Um, I have my box from my van that I brought in for some more color. We've got Toby's got his uh, giraffe friend here and his blanket. We have, uh, I got this couch cover on Amazon. I will leave a link for that. Just some random baskets to hold things as space savers. Um, a beautiful salt lamp that we got from our friend Seth for Cyrus's birthday recently. Um, over here we have our drums and another couch. We opted to keep the couch that was in here so we have two couches instead of a dinner table because we enjoy having drum circles and friends over. So we are keeping this and I just took uh, the blanket from my van and a tapestry here and added some pillows from my van to make it more colorful. We have a beautiful little ottoman from Cyrus's brother as a gift. Uh, as far as space saving, I am using my drum case as a workstation. So this is where I work during the day. I just put a pretty sarong over the top of my drum case here and therefore it is functional and not just taking up space while our drums are out. So there's that. We have a lot of storage space in here. We've got great cabinets. We've got some random things up here. Uh, we've got books and cards and things like that. We have various things over here. Uh, you know, the usual tea stuff for making s'mores. The junk drawer, which is now a junk basket because every home needs one of those. And then we also have a full view from here. We've got a nice TV up there and Cyrus installed a subwoofer and now we have a sound bar so we get the bass a bumping. We have lots of natural light coming in which is very important to me. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is the living room area. And then of course we have Toby the Dobie food. Our RV has two slide outs for the living room area. So this side pulls in and this side also pulls in when we're driving. So it squishes up to a, a tiny little uh, walkway here. But as you can see, it, it gives us quite a bit of space. 
This is a five by seven rug and there's still a good two or three inches on either side. So it opens up quite nicely and we have a lot of space to be able to entertain guests or just have room to where we don't have to bump into each other when we're walking around. Now for the kitchen, we have a convection oven, which currently is mostly just storing some food because this is the only pantry we have and it's not a lot of space to store your food. So there's that. Um, we have uh, our stove here pops up and it's dirty, sorry about that. We have a couple of sinks here. These pop out and there's um, sinks underneath. Um, a little bit of space for dishes and that's about it as far as the kitchen goes. I installed a, another beautiful rug and we were lucky enough that this has a dual freezer um, and a dual refrigerator. Oh, oh, Toby's got a stretch. Oh, Toby. Oh, is it, is nap time over? You want some water, buddy? Come here, get some water. Oh, stretch. Come on, buddy. Oh, get it. This uh, pops down, so when we put the slides in, because the kitchen is also part of this slide, we have to make sure that this is down. And it, it's a nice little extra counter space for preparing food. So from the kitchen, we go to the shower. And here is our shower. It's a nice, good sized shower. We have a skylight. Um, our dirty clothes laundry and our dish bin live in here when we aren't using it to save space as this is a great space saver. And directly across from the shower is the bathroom, which is pretty good size. We have a cabinet up here for storing things. We've got, um, hello. We've got, uh, storage in here and I learned very quickly when you're driving around it helps to put things in containers because when you get places everything has fallen over and tries to come out. Um, yep basically just a sink, toilet. Through this door is our bedroom and this is a slide out so when we want to drive this gets pulled in and it butts up right against the dresser um, so we have a lot of cabinet space storage space we have a nice big closet we have um, even more storage space up there which that one up there used to hold an old TV but um, it now holds a lot of clothes and I need to make a shelf. Uh, we have a nice dresser. Um, it came with the TV. You might recognize my vintage suitcase as the bed is quite high off the ground. So when we're laying here cuddling, it's hard to see the TV. So we propped it up with that for now until we figure something else out. Um, we've got a couple little bins to collect all of our fanny packs and hats and our pickleball adventures over there. Um, currently, Cyrus is uh, fixing part of the engine, which uh, you can watch that video soon. And yeah, so this is our bedroom. So I'm going to show you what it looked like before I added color. And uh, you can see just what happens when a gen gets a hold of an RV and uh, makes it come alive. I am very thankful that Cyrus loves color as much as I do and has let me just go with it and bring some of my elements from my van inside to our RV in our home and make it feel homey and uh, full of life.
As you can see, we've got some really ugly fabric up here um, that is going to eventually need to go. We uh, want to add more color there, take that off, and possibly put something here, maybe get something laser cut, um, or get some tiles or something uh, to brighten it up in here. We definitely want this, uh, uh, oh, I don't even know how to describe that. That stuff needs to go away. So that will be replaced with something colorful and less 1980s. And uh, yeah, we will be redoing this material and we may even paint the cabinets. We're not really sure yet. Um, this uh, fabric also needs to go away here in the bedroom. Uh, we also have this horrendous uh, wallpaper going on, which uh, will be going away. So make sure you follow along because we will be making some definite changes in here um, in the not too far future. Well, there you go. Our first of probably many RV tours of this beautiful place we're calling home. And... Uh, yeah, just a quick little walk through and show you what we're working with here. We have obviously uh, a 20 year old unit and it's got some very ugly fabrics that need to go, go far away and never return and be replaced with other things. So as I start to decorate and we start to remodel a bit, we will be making some videos to show you what we're doing and, and the befores and afters. And uh, we're gonna make it our own little, well, I guess it's our own big rolling fort and uh, see what happens when we get creative and add some color and uh, personality to this place. So, that's about it. Uh, thank you for following along and subscribing. If you haven't followed my channel before, um, check out my other videos. I started full-time van life last year in June and went into my Dodge Grand Caravan and made that my own little home. And then I left Washington State in October and made my way down to Arizona where I thought I was just going to be hanging out for Thanksgiving, but then I met Cyrus and here we are, uh, seven, eight months later, uh, purchasing an RV together and making this our permanent home. So we will be going on some adventures. We are staying in Prescott, Arizona for the summer and then making our way uh, to South Dakota in the fall and then down hopefully to the Gulf for the winter and uh, get some beach time in and some sunshine. So stay tuned. We have lots of fun adventures to share and um, some upcoming uh, videos on very important fixes for your engines. Thankfully Cyrus is a diesel mechanic and also an RV tech. So he's got lots of really great information to pass on and uh, we both love helping people. So if we can help by just sharing our knowledge or our skills, then that's what we want to do. Until then, thank you for following along on my journey and uh, seeing where life takes me. <sighs> you know what time it is. It's time to dance! <laughs> Stay weird, friends.